look at that sunset. It looks like the sky is on fire. So cool. Well, this morning I worked out. It's Sunday. I'm starting off the week with a bang. Normally I don't work out on Sundays. I work out on Saturdays, but um, I didn't work out last week because I had what I would say a soul cold, which I've been feeling better. Everything is going well, so I knew it would go away. I knew it was just temporary, but everything goes in cycles. So I didn't work out last week, but it's okay because I'm starting off this next week strong and I'm excited. So this morning I did, what did I do? Chest and tries. So for my workouts now, they're pretty simple. Again, my goal is just get in the gym consistently, be consistent. If you work out consistently and you work out really hard and, and you know what you're doing, I mean, you can't just you know go on the treadmill for 10 minutes and don't, not raise your heart rate and expect to do something, but if you work out really hard consistently, it doesn't really matter what you do, it just matters that you do something. There's more than one path to your your goal body. You could do yoga, you could do running, you could do lifting, you could do hiking, you could do uh, boot camps or anything really. You could do body weight workouts at home. You could do, there's so many different ways to the end goal. Whether you want to do running or CrossFit, go for it. As long as you're moving, it's great. That's the main focus. There isn't a perfect workout. There's not. I'm sorry to say. There are a lot of really good workouts. When I go to the gym, I'm typically training. I'm, I'm training three days a week, and I will do two body parts. So today I did chest and tries. And when I do chest and tries, chest is the major muscle group I'm working out. Tries is the secondary, because you're really working tries while you're working chest, which is why you do them together. So, like for example, when you do a push-up, you're working your chest, but you're also working your triceps. So when I go for a chest and tries day, I'll do three chest exercises and two tricep exercises. So typically I'll do bench press, bench press incline, bench press decline, and then two triceps. Usually row pull down and maybe row pull overs, like skull crushers, this way. Um, I don't really like doing overhead tricep exercises because it bothers my elbows for some reason so sometimes I will sometimes I won't but again there's no perfect workout the perfect workout is consistency that's really the perfect workout just doing something consistency consistently and consistently pushing your limits if you feel fine and you aren't out of breath and you can do more at the end of your workout you probably should have done more so if you're pushing yourself to your hardest and you feel like you can check that box and say I did my best for the day that's all that's all you need to do so I'm gonna continue my three days a week in the gym this week I might do four who knows I started off with Sunday my goal is to do four this week if I do three it's still okay because I'm still falling in line with my goal and I'm excited to do my three or four workouts this week. I'm really excited. I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to being healthy. I was looking up, Peter has back pain. He, the past few nights, has been having trouble sleeping because his back really hurts. And I was looking up online on WebMD and Mayo Clinic and, you know, what nighttime back pain could mean. And it, it's really scary, all these things you could have. Tumors and spinal infections and just on and on. And I don't think he has those things, but... As we age and get older, those things could be a possibility if we don't take care of ourselves, if we don't stay healthy, if we don't eat healthy now. We're building a wall, brick by brick. We're laying our wall, our foundation. And if you lay your bricks in an unhealthy way, your wall will be unhealthy. So that's what I focus on every day is my long-term goal is health. I wanna be healthy. I don't want to be Googling something later because I have joint pain and I'm worried about arthritis. I want to know that I took care of myself when I was younger and I can enjoy the body that I helped to sustain so I can thrive when I'm older and use it and enjoy it. The sunset just got so much better. I just have to show you this really quick and you can't even see the amazingness of it because for whatever reason iPhone doesn't pick up 
all the nuances of the colors, the pinks and the yellows, but it's just insane. There's in between that bright stripe, where's my finger? Right there. The sky looks really blue and minty green and just it's the prettiest rainbow right now. It's so pretty. Right now I'm going to go prep my smoothie for the morning. I'm going to prep all my vegetables so I can just throw it in the blender. That's another way I help myself succeed so I don't throw myself behind in the morning so I'm tired or, well, I always make my smoothie so that's not going to happen that I wouldn't make it, but I don't want to be behind if I'm tired and getting ready. I like to give myself as much time in the morning as possible. So I'm going to show you what I put in my smoothies. This is what's happening now. Just cutting up the carrots. I already have a cucumber, some strawberries, some tomatoes, bell pepper in here. I'm out of bananas and I'm out of spinach. Normally I would do both. I will also add chia seeds and some almond butter. And then in the morning, I'm ready to go. I just throw in my coconut water, regular water, and my frozen fruit. I'll do a video soon on exactly what I do because it's really quick and simple and it takes 10 minutes 